Hello! Welcome to the Sky Sea Channel which always discusses everything about the sea. Have you ever wondered how some of the world's most amazing islands came to be? No, we're not talking about natural islands formed by volcanic eruptions or tectonic movements. We're talking about artificial islands created by human ingenuity and ambition. In this video, we'll show you some of the most incredible examples of artificial islands in history and reveal their secrets. You won't believe what's hidden on these man-made islands. But before we dive into our list of amazing artificial islands, let me tell you a fact. Did you know that one of the most famous artificial islands in the world is the Pearl in Qatar? It is an incredible example of what humans can achieve. The Pearl is a luxury residential and commercial development on an artificial island shaped like a pearl. It covers an area of 4 million square meters and has 32 kilometers of coastline. It has everything you can imagine, hotels, restaurants, shops, parks, marinas, golf courses, and even a mini Venice with canals and gondolas. But what impresses me the most is not the lavish lifestyle or the stunning scenery. It is the fact that this island was built from scratch on a former pearl diving site that was barren and shallow. It took over 10 years and $15 billion to transform this patch of sand into a modern oasis. As I learned more about this island, I couldn't help but wonder, how did they do it? How did they create this island out of nothing? And why did they do it? What was their motivation and vision? These questions led me to research more about artificial islands and discover some fascinating facts and stories behind them. And that's what I want to share with you today. An artificial island is an island that has been constructed by people rather than formed by natural means. Artificial islands may vary in size from small islets reclaimed solely to support a single pillar of a building or structure to those that support entire communities and cities. Artificial islands have a long history in many parts of the world, dating back to the reclaimed islands of ancient Egyptian civilization, the stilt crannogs of prehistoric Wales, Scotland and Ireland, the ceremonial centers of Nan Madal in Micronesia and the still extant floating islands of Lake Titicaca. One of the most famous examples of artificial islands is the city of Tenochtitlan, the Aztec predecessor of Mexico City that was home to 500,000 people when the Spaniards arrived. It stood on a small natural island in Lake Texcoco that was surrounded by countless artificial Chinamidal islands. Another remarkable example is the Lao Lagoon in Malaita, Solomon Islands, where the people built about 60 artificial islands on the reef using rocks and coral. They did this to protect themselves from attack from the people who lived in the center of Malaita and to avoid the mosquitoes that infested the coastal swamps. The Lao people continue to live on the reef islands today. In modern times, artificial islands are usually formed by land reclamation, but some are formed by flooding of valleys resulting in the tops of former knolls getting isolated by water. One of the world's largest artificial islands, René Leviser Island, was formed by the flooding of two adjacent reservoirs in Canada. Some artificial islands are built for economic purposes, such as expanding urban areas, creating ports and airports, or developing tourism and entertainment facilities. For example, Jurong Island in Singapore is an amalgamation of seven natural islands that was reclaimed to form a petrochemical hub. Hong Kong International Airport is mostly on reclaimed land that was once two separate islands. Other artificial islands are built for military or strategic reasons, such as creating bases or fortresses, or asserting territorial claims. For example, China has been converting several reefs and shoals in the South China Sea into artificial islands as part of its Great Wall of Sand project, which has sparked controversy and disputes with other countries in the region. Russia also has 19 artificial islands in the Gulf of Finland that were used for fortifications during World War II. Some artificial islands are built for environmental or cultural reasons, such as restoring wetlands, preserving heritage sites, or creating habitats for wildlife. As you can see, artificial islands are fascinating creations that reflect human ingenuity, ambition, and diversity. They have shaped history, culture, and geography in many ways and continue to do so today. But they also pose challenges and risks, such as environmental impacts, social conflicts, legal issues, and natural disasters. What do you think about artificial islands? Do you know any other examples of mysterious or amazing artificial islands? Let us know in the comments below. 
If you like this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel to get other interesting video updates. Thank you for watching. And see you in the next video.